In today's digital age, certain occupations are still considered to be as dirty and risky as ever. In southwestern China has claimed at least about 23 lives. One person has been rescued successfully so far. Mining is a prime example, with miners facing fire, falling rock and entrapment. But this industry is also evolving. NASA team is in Beckley for the week, testing robots built to aid in mine rescues. Automation is bringing a new degree of protection to mines and boosting the efficiency with which we obtain the precious minerals used to make the modern world's trappings, from cars and buildings to our electronic devices. Join us in this video as we discuss why robots make miners obsolete. Drilling and mining bots, or robots, are automated machines that are used to perform various tasks in drilling and mining operations. The use of drilling and mining bots is intended to improve the quality, efficiency, and precision of resource extraction. So in this scenario, I think like it is very important for the robots to have the, the autonomous capability. Although they don't necessarily replace human roles, they enhance human capabilities and contribute to more sustainable and technologically advanced mining practices. Robotic technologies play a vital role in improving accuracy, reliability, and precision in the fields of drilling and mining. Here are a few of the main uses and benefits of robotic technologies in these industries. Autonomous drilling rigs, robotic drilling rigs equipped with advanced sensors and GPS technology, can operate autonomously. They follow predefined patterns or adjust in real time based on geological data, ensuring precise drilling. Automated drilling systems use robotics and artificial intelligence to control drilling parameters. These tools can optimize the drilling process by adjusting speed and depth to suit geological conditions and maximizing resource extraction. Remote operation, remote controlled mining operations are used in a variety of drilling and mining activities. This allows operators to control and monitor equipment from a safe location, minimizing the chance of being exposed to hazardous conditions. Autonomous transport systems, autonomous transport trucks, and autonomous transport buses operate without human drivers. These vehicles use sensors, cameras, and GPS to locate mining sites, transport materials, and optimize haulage routes. Material handling robots. These robots are used for material handling tasks such as loading and unloading ore from trucks and conveyor belts. These robots improve productivity by automating repetitive and physically demanding tasks. Underground mining robots are specialized robots used for underground mining operations. They can navigate through tunnels, perform sanding or blasting tasks, and work with materials in tight spaces where human access is difficult. Drones for exploration and mapping are drones equipped with sensors and cameras used for the exploration. Photographs, images, videos, and laser scans into a, a three-dimensional map of the world around them as they see. Mapping and surveying of mining sites. They provide high-resolution photographs and gather data for geological analysis, aiding in decision-making. For real-time monitoring and data analysis, Sensors on drilling and mining equipment provide real-time data on parameters such as rock density, hardness, and composition. This data is then analyzed using algorithms to optimize drilling parameters and increase overall efficiency. The safety benefits of robotic technologies include improved worker safety by reducing the need for human workers to work in hazardous environments. The application for this is essentially to be able to save people's lives. Remote monitoring, accelerometers, and automated safety systems can help prevent accidents and respond quickly to emergencies. Predictive maintenance, robotics, and sensor technologies are used to perform predictive maintenance on drilling and mining equipment. Continuous monitoring helps in the early detection of potential problems, minimizing downtime, and improving equipment's life expectancy. The use of robotic tools in drilling and mining operations reflects a wider trend toward automation and digitalization in the mining industry. These technologies not only improve manufacturing efficiency, 
but also promote worker welfare and sustainable resource management. A variety of factors influence the cost comparison between drilling and mining robots and human labor, and it can vary depending on the specific situation, the technologies used, and the nature of the task being performed. Here are a few points to consider before launching. An initial investment is required. This includes the purchase of advanced robotic equipment, sensors, automation systems, and any other necessary infrastructure upgrades. Although robots can reduce labor costs over time, there are ongoing costs associated with maintenance, software upgrades, and potential repairs. These costs contribute to the total cost of ownership, the degree of sophistication in robotic technologies, such as autonomous capabilities, AI integration, and advanced sensing, can influence the overall cost of the robotic system. Human resources include wages, health care, and possibly housing for employees. Labor costs can vary dramatically based on geographic location, labor market conditions, and specific job requirements. Skilled labor in drilling and mining requires a lot of preparation and experience. The cost of training programs and ongoing skill development contributes to the overall cost of recruiting human workers. Human resource costs are determined by factors such as working hours, overtime pay, and any additional compensation for working in challenging environments. Although robots may incur higher upfront costs, they can still function without interruptions, potentially increasing overall efficiency relative to human labor. Robotics can improve health by reducing the need for human workers in dangerous environments. This can result in indirect cost savings for workers who suffer injuries or health-related expenses. Some jobs, such as drilling and mining, can be extremely tiring and physically demanding. Robots can do such tasks effectively, though human workers will be subjected to fatigue and decreased productivity. The cost relationship between drilling and mining robots and human labor is complex. Although robots may have higher initial costs, the possibility of increased efficiency, safety enhancements, and reduced reliance on human labor can contribute to their long-term cost effectiveness. The specific economic analysis would depend on the particular circumstances of each mining operation. Having talked about drilling and mining bots, we should contemplate these questions. Which drones are used for mapping? How are drones used for aerial surveys and mapping of mining sites? Come with us to the next chapter as we delve into how mapping drones operate. Mapping drones, also known as surveying or mapping unmanned aerial vehicles, are equipped with cameras, radars, and GPS technology to capture high-resolution images and gather data for mapping and surveying purposes. A lot of challenges, like even for this prototyping phase, we already face, we already like find out a lot of challenges. Mapping drones are a vital component of modern surveying and mapping applications, providing a combination of precision, reliability, and versatility in gathering spatial data for a variety of industries. Drones are commonly used for aerial surveys and mapping of mining sites because of their ability to capture high-resolution images, provide precise spatial data, and improve overall efficiency. Here's a look at how drones are used in this context. Operators prepare the drone's flight route and mission parameters before launching the survey. To ensure complete coverage, you must define waypoints, altitude, and overlap settings. In high-resolution imaging, drones are equipped with high-resolution cameras to capture detailed aerial photographs of the mining site. This map provides valuable information about the terrain, buildings, and landscape changes. Drones use GPS or GNSS. Global Navigation Satellite System technology to precisely georeference the captured images. This ensures that the data is geographically precise, allowing for precise mapping and analysis. The collected images are then processed to produce orthomosaic maps. Orthomosaics are stitched together, corrected for irregularities, 
and used to produce precise high-resolution aerial photographs of the mining site. Drones equipped with LiDAR sensors or photogrammetric techniques can produce digital elevation models and 3D models. These models provide information about the mining site's topography and elevation changes. In vegetation analysis, aerial surveys are used to assess vegetation health and density. This is particularly important for environmental impact assessments and reclamation planning. Drones can accurately measure the number of stockpiles of ores. Assisting mining companies in managing inventory and maximizing extraction activities. Drones are used to monitor environmental conditions such as water bodies, soil erosion, and vegetation health. These facts are vital to ensuring that environmental laws and sustainable mining practices are followed. A lot of uh, light to be able to see in completely dark environment. Regular drone surveys enable the comparison of data over time, facilitating change detection and analysis. This is useful for monitoring mining progress, identifying potential problems, and determining future plans. Drone has several sensors on board which are looking for surroundings, searching where is the tunnel and following the tunnel shape. Drones for aerial surveys save a lot of money and time compared to traditional surveying methods. Drones can cover large areas quickly and provide accurate, up-to-date information. Drones eliminate the need for ground-based surveying in difficult or difficult-to-reach areas. This improves safety by reducing the chance of accidents and injuries for surveying workers. Drones are a vital component in revolutionizing surveying and mapping techniques in the mining industry. They provide a cost-effective, reliable, and safer alternative to traditional methods while also providing precise and useful information for decision-making and site management. Both mapping drones and human surveyors have their advantages and drawbacks. In the context of aerial surveys and mapping, here's a comparison of mapping drones to human surveyors. Drones can cover large areas quickly, allowing for quick data collection and mapping. This efficiency is particularly valuable for time-sensitive projects. Drones are cost-effective when compared to traditional surveying techniques, especially in large or remote areas. They eliminate the need for extensive ground infrastructure and can be carried out with minimal staff. Drones are excellent choices for enhancing safety because they eliminate the need for human surveyors to visit dangerous or difficult to reach areas. This is particularly useful in mining areas or areas with difficult terrain. Drones are useful in areas that are difficult or risky for human surveyors, such as steep slopes, dense vegetation, or uneven terrain. They are advantageous because they follow predefined flight paths or waypoints, ensuring uniform and systematic coverage of the survey area. This consistency aids in the production of accurate reports. Some mapping drones can transmit data in real time, allowing for on-the-fly analysis and decision-making during the mapping mission. Adaptability is an advantage of human surveyors. They are more able to respond to unexpected challenges or changes in the field. They can change their strategy based on real-time data and make decisions that may require human intuition. Humans excel at complex decision-making and problem-solving. They can detect subtle differences in the environment that may be difficult for automated systems to detect. Human surveyors have a lot of advantages over traditional surveyors, such as stakeholder contact, on-site analysis, and complex surveying tasks that may require special expertise. Humans bring contextual knowledge and domain expertise to the surveying process. They can interpret the data in the wider context of the project's objectives. Flexibility is the key to success for human surveyors. They are flexible and can adapt their surveying methods to suit individual needs, requirements, or unexpected challenges. Mapping drones have advantages in terms of range, cost effectiveness, and safety, particularly in large-scale or hazardous environments. Human surveyors, on the other hand, bring adaptability, complex decision-making skills, and contextual knowledge to the surveying process. The best approach is often a mix of both, leveraging each's strengths to achieve comprehensive and effective surveying results. 
Since we have discussed mapping drones and how they operate, we should consider these questions. What are autonomous loaders? How do loader bots operate in autonomous navigation? Join us in the next chapter as we showcase the loader bot's capabilities in autonomous navigation. Autonomous loaders, also known as robots or self-driving loaders, are advanced machines that can be used for material handling and mining operations without the need for human intervention. Here are the main features and benefits of self-driving trucks in mining. By using autonomous operations, autonomous loads can be operated without human drivers. To navigate and carry out material handling tasks, they use a combination of accelerometers, sensors, and GPS technology. As for material transport, these loaders are designed to transport rocks, such as iron, overburden, or waste within the mining site. They can load and unload materials onto trucks or conveyors. GPS systems are used for precise navigation, allowing autonomous loaders to follow predefined routes or waypoints. This ensures precise and efficient material transport. Advanced sensors and collision avoidance systems help autonomous loaders navigate around obstacles, ensuring a safe operation in the mining industry. Autonomous loaders can be integrated into a fleet management system, ensuring the correct combination of multiple loaders and other mining equipment. This leads to increased overall efficiency. Autoloaders can operate continuously without interruptions, ensuring increased operational continuity. This is particularly useful in continuous mining operations. Autonomous loaders are designed for maximum efficiency in the process. They can follow precise loading and unloading procedures, minimizing cycle times and contributing to increased productivity. These loaders often come with real-time monitoring features, allowing operators to remotely monitor their location, state, and performance. This helps in better decision-making and resource allocation. Integration with mine planning software. Autonomous loaders can be integrated with mine planning software to help them manage their tasks in conjunction with overall mining goals. This ensures that material handling tasks are consistent with production objectives. These loaders improve safety by reducing the need for human operators in potentially risky situations. They can operate effectively in areas with poor visibility or difficult conditions. Auto loaders can reduce fuel consumption and emissions by optimizing routes and operation efficiency, minimizing the environmental impact of material transport within the mine. Autonomous loaders play a vital role in modernizing mining operations, ensuring greater reliability, safety benefits, and increased overall productivity in material handling tasks. Their integration into mining fleets is a step toward more advanced and sustainable mining techniques. Automatic loaders or loader bots use advanced technologies to revolutionize the transportation of ore and waste materials in mining operations. These are the main features of the automatic navigation system. For precise navigation, loader bots use the Global Positioning System or Global Navigation Satellite System. They are able to follow predefined routes, waypoints, or coordinates within the mining area. By using sensors and cameras, loader bots can see their surroundings by using an array of sensors, including LiDAR, radar, and cameras. These sensors provide real-time data, enabling bots to spot obstacles, navigate around them, and maintain safe routes. In collision avoidance techniques, loader bots use advanced collision avoidance techniques to navigate through the mining environment without colliding with other equipment, structures, or workers, enhancing safety, operational efficiency, and overall productivity. Their constant operation, precise navigation, and integration into modern mining practices are all essential to the evolution of modern mining practices. Drove into the pit. That's a Lee Bear 9800 loading CAT 796 truck. After explaining how loader bots operate, these questions should be addressed. Which robots are used for inspecting and monitoring mining equipment and infrastructure? What are their roles in identifying maintenance needs and potential hazards? 
Follow us to the next chapter as we talk about how robots are used for inspection. Inspection robots are self-contained or remotely operated machines that have sensors and cameras that can be used to assess and monitor a variety of environments, structures, or systems. Inspection robots consist of various parts such as cameras, thermal imaging, gas detectors, and other sophisticated apparatuses. These sensors are used to gather data about the inspected area or object. Some inspection robots can be controlled remotely, allowing human operators to control their movements and functions from a safe distance. This is particularly useful in dangerous or difficult to reach areas. By utilizing technologies like LIDAR, GPS, and obstacle detection, autonomous inspection robots are able to navigate on their own. They can follow predefined routes or adapt to changing environments, enhancing their versatility. Inspection robots are designed for a variety of conditions, including enclosed spaces, manufacturing facilities, pipelines, hazardous areas, and infrastructure such as bridges and tunnels. In industries like energy, which includes manufacturing, construction, infrastructure maintenance, oil and gas plants, power plants and public safety, Hazardous material detection and search and rescue are frequently carried out. Real-time data inspection robots often provide real-time data to customers, allowing for immediate assessment and decision-making. During inspections, it is crucial to spot flaws, anomalies, or potential hazards. Some inspection robots are equipped with special equipment, such as robotic arms or probes, Inspection robots can be cost-effective because they eliminate the need for human investigators to enter dangerous areas. This increases safety by minimizing human contact with potentially harmful conditions. These robots often work with data collection programs to process the collected data. They can generate reports, identify patterns, and provide insights for further decision-making. Inspections by drones for aerial inspections and drones equipped with cameras and sensors are also used. They provide a unique way to analyze buildings, pipelines, and large areas, and they can be more effective in other situations. Several robots are also used for environmental monitoring, such as air quality assessments, leak detection, and monitoring of environmental conditions. Inspection robots have improved productivity, safety, and accuracy in many industries, providing a valuable alternative to manual inspection techniques in difficult or hazardous environments. As technology advances and new applications are introduced, their adoption continues to increase. Robots equipped with cameras and sensors are used in a variety of industries. Here's how these robots use their camera and sensor capabilities. Cameras and sensors help them operate autonomously in complex environments. They can spot obstacles, recognize landmarks, and adjust their movements in real time. Robots can detect and recognize objects using vision technologies such as cameras and special sensors. This is useful in situations such as pick-and-place operations in which robots identify and handle specific items. Proximity sensors and cameras aid robots in avoiding collisions with obstacles or other objects in their path. This is vital for a safe operation, particularly in tight spaces. Robots use LiDAR and cameras to create maps of their surroundings. They can determine their exact location in a given environment by combining them with algorithms, facilitating precise navigation. In many industries, robots with cameras and sensors are used for inspections. They can check the condition of buildings, machinery, pipelines, and other assets by analyzing visual and sensor data. For quality control and production processes, vision systems on robots are used. They test products for defects, variations, or deviations from specified requirements, ensuring consistent results. In search and rescue operations, robots equipped with cameras and sensors are used. They can navigate through disaster-stricken areas, spot signs of life, and send real-time images to human responders.
Robots are used in defense and security applications by patrolling areas and observing unusual activities. Robots are able to recognize and respond to human gestures, sounds, and movements thanks to cameras and sensors. This allows for natural and intuitive interactions between robots and humans. In warehouse automation, robots equipped with cameras and sensors are of vital importance. They can navigate, pick, and transport goods efficiently, minimizing logistics operations. Robots are able to see and interact with their surroundings thanks to the use of cameras and sensors in a variety of industries, from manufacturing and healthcare to agriculture and beyond. Having revealed how robots are used for inspection, these questions should be asked. Which robots are designed for search and rescue operations in mining emergencies? How do they navigate through dangerous environments? Come with us in the next chapter as we provide a detailed exploration of the robots used for rescue operations. Robots that are designed for search and rescue operations in mining emergencies are equipped with advanced features to navigate through difficult environments. Designed to make it easier to locate and rescue people who are caught under the rubble. Locate individuals and provide critical information to rescue teams. Here are some of the key features of these search and rescue robots. Many search and rescue robots can be operated remotely, allowing operators to monitor their movements from a safe distance. In dangerous situations, such as those encountered in mining emergencies, this is vital. Search and rescue robots are made from tough materials that can withstand harsh conditions encountered in mining environments, such as sand, gravel, and potentially unstable terrain. These robots have been engineered to possess increased mobility and maneuverability. They can traverse narrow spaces, rubble, or uneven terrain, avoiding areas that may be difficult for human rescuers. Camera and sensor systems equipped with high-resolution cameras and sensors. These robots can process real-time visual and environmental data. This information is vital in order to assess the situation and identify potential dangers or individuals who have been stranded. Search and rescue robots are often equipped with communication equipment, such as two-way audio and video capabilities. This allows rescuers to communicate with survivors and assess their condition. Autonomous Navigation Some robots have built-in autonomous navigation capabilities. Enabling them to navigate through complex environments without any human intervention. This is especially useful for securing large areas. Gas and hazard detection, sensors that can detect hazardous gases and environmental conditions, can improve the robot's safety as well as that of potential survivors. This feature is particularly useful in situations where gas leaks or other hazards are present. Robots can be used to carry and lift objects. This can be useful in removing rubble or assisting individuals who may be injured or trapped. Some robots have modular attachments or devices that can be changed based on the specific needs of the search and rescue mission. Grapplers, cutting tools, or additional cameras are among the items that can be used. In order to guarantee their usefulness, these robots are built with a longer battery life and endurance than other kinds of rescue missions. For long-term use, efficient power management is vital. Search and rescue robots are typically designed to integrate with central command centers. This allows rescue teams to coordinate efforts, monitor multiple robots simultaneously, and make informed decisions based on real-time data.